We're joined here by Aiden DeCampo, who's got a pretty good book of drives, a small but select book of drives here on Friday night. And Aiden, we'll start with the Diamond Classic and some Copper Beach. This two-year-old, it's in a hot field, but some Copper Beach can't have done much more. Could she before this Friday night's final? No, you're right, Tim. Um, you know, first up was her in defeat, and um, you know we worked on a few things from that run to a second run, and since then she hasn't been beaten. So um, yeah, no, she's racing well. What did you make of the heat performance? Obviously had to do a little bit of work and then wore down her rivals over the closing stages. What did you make of that performance? Yeah, it was a good run. Um, sitting in the breeze, you know, is obviously hard for a two-year-old first trip over 2,100. But um, just a bit on the relaxed side um, that night. And um, I just put it down to she hadn't raced for three and a half weeks and she just needed that race run to kind of really sharpen her up a bit. And um, since then she's worked well. So, yeah, no, can't be happier. So you wouldn't change anything in the preparation for Friday night's event? I wouldn't mind knocking one of the ones off the barrier draw. That wouldn't be bad. But, um, yeah, no, nah, she's, she's working well going into it, and, um, you know, it's going to be a nice race. So what do you make of the 11? Oh, look, it's not a great draw. It's not a bad draw either. Um, having double espresso drawn wide and, um, you know, it, it makes it a bit more open for horses like us and, you know, a couple of other horses in the race as well that also went well through the heat. So, you know, it's a wide open race and um, the barrier draw has made it really interesting. It certainly has. You mentioned Double Expresso there. Who do you think is the biggest danger in the race? Yeah, Double double Expresso, obviously, just um, on what she's done so far. was um, Kim Prentice's horse went really good behind her in the heat, showed a lot of speed and it's got a nice trailing draw where, you know, if he gets the splits at the right time, can go well. And um, also the other two winners, uh, Ask Me, I Tell You, was really impressive um, getting out late and he's probably got uh, the best draw out of the main the main chances well out of the winners of the heat. So, um, you know, it's going to be, you know, prominent in the run. Let's talk about your other drive, key drive on the evening, that is the Kraken. A wide draw, but... What can you tell us about this horse? Because we've only seen a little bit of this horse in Perth. Yeah, a horse that's kind of, um, you know, impressed me over his last two. Uh, he doesn't do a hell heap at home to, you know, jump out off the page at you, but his last two have been really, really good, um, you know, at Pinjarra. Wide draw around Gloucester Park here. We've, you know, it's, it's an even quality field. Uh, it's going to make it hard for us to win it. Uh, we'll need, need a bit of genuine speed on, but, um, you know, he's racing well and, you know, he's not far off him. Tell us about the last run at Gloucester Park behind Matthew James, who we know is a talented commodity. What did you make of that performance then in terms of getting a look and the feel for Gloucester Park? Yeah, it was a good run. Um, you know, he was first up, uh, his first up run for our stable, he was very disappointing and um, we gave him a month to get over that run and fix a few things with him and um, I handed up that day just to um, make sure that elephant was right and, you know, he got to the line good and, um, you know, he wasn't challenging Matthew James but we held the rest of the field quite easy. Um, Friday night, there's probably no Matthew James in it, so it's more open, so hopefully a um, bit of genuine speed and, you know, he can be right up to him. And what do you make of the assessment, the assignment, should I say, for attack on command from barrier number 10 in the opening event? Yeah, a horse I actually really like driving for the Woodworths. So they've done an amazing job with him. Um, his, his last two on paper probably don't look that good. And, um, the one in the stand where he led, he had to work hard to get there and it probably just took, just took his toll on him. His last start, I was real happy with him. He just kind of doesn't get around the corners great out wide here. So the 10's a great draw for him. Um, not quite sure what's drawn one, but, you know, it's a great, great trail and draw for him. And if he gets the splits late, you know, he'd be right in it. Well, good luck on Friday night. Who's the one that's most likely to win, do you think? Is it the two-year-old? Oh, it would be nice if she won, but um, like I said, it's a, it's a really nice field and, uh, and the barrier draws have made it quite even. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll hope it's her. Good luck. Yeah, cheers.